I'm back on Q's TV, Brian Higgins with uh, Coach Q and uh, Q into the Sweet 16 here for the first time ever. It's been a journey, hasn't it? Here, what, what does it mean to have finally reached this point? Well, it's good. When you when you when you, when you start your season and you talk about winning championships and you have to still be playing to have an opportunity to do that. And our kids are doing a, an amazing job of just being in the moment and playing tough and just just making sure that they talent business in every game. And so far, so good. Has there been, and we sort of asked all the players this, a resetting of goals at all? Because you first had to have the goal of the Sweet 16, and now that you have it, you don't want to stop with it, with that as the last goal. Uh, my goal has never been reset. It's always been the been the been the win a championship, and, and obviously this this is next step towards doing that. And you had to you had to beat great teams to do that. And South Carolina is a great team that's, that's in front of us right now. You see South Carolina now, and obviously the situation sets up I think a lot better for you playing them in the tournament this year than last when you're an eight seed and you're in their building and now at a neutral site. How much can that help to change things in your favor? They don't have 15,000 of their fans behind them. I think it makes a difference, but it's still time that players on the floor. You still have to go out there, go out there and uh, execute the game plan. And that's what's most important for us. we got to really stick to what we do and be solid in our principles and we have a chance. Weird at this point of the year to know so much about the other team already. Is that a little different for you? Yeah, it is. It, 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 you know, you've played them twice and and you and you know what they what they do well, and you gotta find a, find a, find a way to combat that. And that's, that's that's a challenge. How can we combat when they size in the paint? How can we rebound the ball? How can we make sure sure that when they when they when they get touches in the paint, that they're very contested touches. In many ways, this uh, South Carolina team looks uh, even improved themselves over last year with Asia Wilson playing a, a much bigger role. How different are they now from last year? They're very different. They. they Asia Wilson has been tremendous. She's had an unbelievable year. Mm -hmm. I think that their whole team has improved. Everyone on the team has gotten gotten better. And, and Don's an amazing coach. You know, she, she's she's done it at every level, at the USA basketball level. At the, you know, she's played pro and all American. I mean, we can we can we can just go on and on. And she's done everything at a high level. And she's definitely playing at a high level. The team's playing really really well. We got to find a way to combat that. It feels like maybe the final factor at this time of the year, other than the talents and how well you're playing, is just belief and the ability to do it. And it seems like your team uh, this year has latched onto that maybe more than other years. Yeah, it's it's, it's amazing when you, when you when you when you go into a game thinking you can do it. You know, <laughs> you can't you can't you can't go into a game thinking you have no shot. And we never go into a game thinking that. I never go into a game thinking we have no shot of winning a basketball game. We, we know what we need to do to win the game, and we need to go out there and execute that game plan. All right, Hugh, last thing. We're still on the search for anyone that has been to South Dakota. Have you been to any part of South Dakota? No, that was Lake North Dakota. That's it. It's the only place I've, I've ever been. So, so, this, so this will be my first. All right, so at least nearby. <laughs> at least nearby. Q's first trip, and uh, good luck to you this week. Thank you.